what's going on youtube so today we got a brand new video for today we got a 30k sneaker scam first of all i don't know how anybody gets scammed for 30k with the sneakers but we about to find out about to watch the video and then do some research about it so let's get right into it this melbourne man has just been denied a thirty thousand dollar refund for buying fake sneakers he bought seven pairs of fakes including four pairs of the highly coveted air jordan dior collab and he bought all these shoes nah, that's crazy. from a 17 year old but not just a 17 year old a known scammer in the area after he picked a up these scammer. fakes he noticed a few wonky defects he contacted the seller to try whoa, and get a refund pause 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 how do you how do you legit check a sneaker after you buy it? I'm not gonna lie, the guy deserved it. There's no way I'm spending thirty thousand dollars and not making sure every single detail is perfected. Like, that's crazy. Me, I, I would never. That, that's dummy clown. Clown of the day goes to him. He was put on red. But the estate agent decided to take the matter to court. <laughs> but the judge threw the case out because the seller was underage when the shoes were sold. He was not legally able to enter <laughs> into a contract or nah, to what? any refunds under Victorian state law. Had the seller been 18 when he sold the fake shoes to this guy, the guy probably would have had a case to get his money back. But as it stands, bro got finessed. Bro did get finessed. That's tough. All right, so I just found an article on Reddit uh, talking about this uh, case right here. So, Melbourne real estate agent loses bid for $30,000 uh, refund for sneakers sold by schoolboy. That is crazy. The Melbourne real estate agent who spent almost $30,000 on sneakers he suspects are counterfeit is not entitled to a refund because he knowingly bought them from off a 17-year-old student. He paid the boy $3,800 for a pair of Dior X Air Jordan sneakers and then he went to purchase three more pairs for $4,800, $6,700, and $10,000. He also paid uh, $2,690 for each three pairs of Jordan 1 and the Bread, Chicago, and Royal color, uh, color schemes. That's crazy. I don't think I'm paying uh, $2,690 for, for those uh, colorways. I don't know. He noticed defects and he came to believe that the sneakers were unauthentic. When he couldn't get in touch with a student, he contacted his father, who he claimed agreed to accompany him and get them authenticated. According to the buyer, the father said if they were found to be counterfeits, he would accept responsibility and sort it out. This was disputed by the father during a hearing at VACT in October. The duo took the shoes to a sneaker store whose authenticator reported that all the sneakers were counterfeit. The father, however, said that the sneaker store was not a authorized authenticator. That doesn't make any sense. You're gonna take it to a sneaker store, it's clearly like not an authorized authenticator, but somebody who has exper expertise on shoes. So it's like, of course not authorized, but they know what they're, they mo 90% of the time they know what they're talking about. Cause they not gonna just, cause if you want to go sell it to them, they not just gonna buy it and not authenticate it, so. According to the man, the authenticator's face completely dropped on hearing the name of the student and said that he was a fraudster and a scam artist who had been blacklisted back heard. He claimed that the father offered 10,000 in compensation, which he rejected and pursued the matter through VACT. Bro, if you're 17, you know what you're getting yourself into, bro. There's no way, like, when you're 13, that makes sense. But like, seven, I mean, I'm not gonna give a excuse, but it's like, come on now. It's like, you, you know what you're doing, but you can't, you're fully conscious at the age of 17. His father had told VACT his son had researched sneakers as a part of his business management studies and had helped his classmates secure limited edition and hard to source sneakers. While he made a commission from the transactions that he used to buy his own sneakers, the father had no idea of the extent of his son's dealings. Damn, he said, it's almost like uh, he turned to a dark side, his son turned evil, little shit. Metcalf said while the father tried to resolve the matter, that does not amount to him accepting responsibility for repercussions of any agreement to which he was not a party of and of which he had no knowledge. She also dismissed the case, uh, not the case, the claim against the father. The buyer still has the sneakers. To be honest, I'm going to get back. I'm not going to be this real estate. Well, I mean, he's a real estate agent, so he probably got bread. He's not really too tripping, but to be honest, if it's me, bro, I'm gonna figure out a way to get that bread back because ain't no way I'm letting a 17 year old kid get one up on me. Because at that point, that means if I'm 17 right now, if I could go back and beat 17, I'm going to scam every single person and get away with it. Because that makes no sense. So if there's no course of action for being 17 years old, I don't know what is. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If y'all wanna read the full article down below, link will be down below. As well as go to Linktree to follow all the new channels. 
um, I'm creating a gaming channel, everything of that nature. So make sure y'all go down below to go subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all so much and see y'all on the next one.